Now, I never played the original Dead Rising, nor the second, third, or fourth game. But I was looking forward to this, and I'm delighted to say this is kind of a banger. In all honesty, at first, I was like, yeah, feels a bit clunky. It's kind of confusing too. I didn't know that it was somewhat of a roguelike. You die, fail a mission, and you can restart, but keep your level and your upgrades. So I was like, man, what is this? But this game was just oozing with charm. At the end of the day, it's just a horde zombie game. Yet the game still feels fresh and unique. And I couldn't tell you any other game that plays like this. I recently reviewed Lollipop Chainsaw, so go check that video out because it went triple plastic. But my complaints were it doesn't live up to modern standards and lacks clear quality of life changes. Now I can't speak to what the game played like then versus now, but I can tell you it feels modern and it feels up to date. One thing I'll say is I saw people hyping up the story. <sighs> The story is serviceable. It gives you a narrative structure to make what you're doing in the game make sense, sure. But that's about it. However, there's a lot of wacky characters here. The whole game is kind of ridiculous, but in a good way. It's very over the top and cartoonish and it just feels very video gamey overall, which was which was nice. I always liked when I'd turn a corner and get a cutscene. I'd be like, oh damn, yay. And I think a big part of that was also just that the game looks great. It's on the Resident Evil engine, so it's probably to be expected at this point, but I wasn't expecting it. And the hordes of zombies on screen was impressive too. Like, sure, we've seen things like Days Gone since this game originally came out, but it was still impressive. But the mall itself that the whole game takes place in feels like its own character. It's just very detailed, and I enjoyed exploring it and playing in it. Every store has weapons in it that's appropriate to that store and there's a wide range of weapons here basically everything in the game can be used as a weapon which is a cool concept but you know after a few hours you're gonna find your favorite weapons and just and just stick to them but it was still nice but yeah the the mall just you don't really play in settings like this often so again add into the unique factor here and i actually like how you level up here there's two ways of leveling up Killing zombies and taking pictures. The more zombies in the pictures, the more points you get. If zombies are attacking, more points you get. Or just take pictures of like prime locations in the mall. And it was, again, something different. But fundamentally, the game is just a, a big escort mission. Like, go save as many people as you can, return them to the safe room, and then move on to the next story beat and just kind of repeat. And do all of that in a time frame. And surprisingly, I didn't mind the time frame. It does add a certain sense of urgency to everything you're doing. And it can be kind of annoying and frustrating at times. And, you know, you are going to miss a thing or two on your first go around. But it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. It being an escort mission kind of game, it is unfortunate that the, the AI isn't that great. Apparently, it's a lot better than the first, but it's still not great. One of the really only big complaints that I have is that the second half doesn't really hold up that well. Not that it's awful, it's just the first half really does shine. And then in the second part, you get these enemies that are bullet sponges. And yeah, it just starts to get frustrating and kind of overstay its welcome. But to keep the review short, it's just a fun, unique experience that's not too long, has replay value, and I'd love to see them make the rest of the games. Like, this is my second favorite game that I played all year, right after Stellar Blade, so... People say the second game is the best one. People say, I see conflicting things. I see people say the first one is the best, and I see people say the second one is the best. So I like them to remake the second so I can see for myself. I'd I'd pick it up day one. If I had to score it, I'd probably say, give it 8 out of 10. I liked it. I did like it.